Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 17th through the 23rd. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. So Libra, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Jack along with the Moonology Oracle Cards. Alright, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups. Okay which speaks about forward movement, moving on emotionally. So maybe leaving someone or something behind that emotionally is no longer serving you. Underneath the Eight of Cups, I have the Emperor. So this could be a male uh, character that maybe some of you are leaving. Um, you also could be moving towards this person um, just you know it's a general reading so it just depends on you know which Libra you are we do have the four of rods underneath the Emperor which I often view him as someone who has a family a married man or someone who was married there could be communication with this person here this week with the page of rods um, so that's very interesting. Uh, the overall energy, though, is the chariot. And so, you know, it is Christmas time. So some of you could be traveling. Travel definitely could be in the cards. Maybe, you know, if that emperor is not um, a husband or a partner, that emperor could be your father with the four of, of rods. You know, maybe you're traveling back home to see an emperor, to see your dad or your grandfather. Um, with the chariot so some of you are, are definitely traveling but for me the chariot is also um, an, an empowering energy it's you in the driver's seat Libra um, and so you are empowered um, you are on a path of success this is a, a card of victory but maybe some of you this week you could be looking at you know a couple of different options and and maybe some of you have like an important decision to make you know which which way do you want to go I feel like you will make the right decision um, but you're definitely going to have to listen to your intuition here we do have the hermit with the with the uh, the moon card and we do happen to have a full moon here on the 22nd and so um, you know listen to your your intuition um, trust your instincts at this time for some of you you know this is powerful energy for you your intuition is definitely going to be speaking to you Sp you know spend some time alone with the hermit here meditate if you like to meditate that's if you have an important decision to make because you know if you're going within and searching for answers you know you already hold those answers within you know it's just a matter of you connecting with your intuition but this is the time to do that because that energy is there um, with the full moon coming up um, some of you could be maybe leaving a job with that eight of cups and then the eight of pentacles and then the four of cups here some of you might not be happy within the position that you're in or maybe what a company is is offering you Libra. four of cups for me is like someone who's not happy with the status quo so for a few of you you know this is you in the driver's seat you know should i leave this company should i move to a new company or start looking for a new job you know it's really you know on you Libra what do you want to do at this time if you are making some important decisions you know that could bring you know an end to a difficult cycle here with the with the ten of swords um, this is the ending to a tough time a difficult cycle that you went through but it might come down to um, you making a decision if you're not happy doing something about that um, with with you in the driver's seat here for some of you that's really what I feel um, do you want to move on or do you want to stay put it's really on you um, but for some of you you're definitely moving on and moving forward with the knight of rods he's you know excited about the future very passionate very ambitious energy um, and so with the chariot and the knight of rods some of you I think you'll choose to kind of move forward and close the door on on the past here and you know needing to stay positive needing to again listen to your intuition with the four of cups and the five of pentacles 
maybe you feel like overworked, underpaid, just not happy with the way something was. And I say that because we have the five of pentacles with the 10 of rods here. And so that combination for me is very much, you know, overworked and underpaid. And so some of you, um, you know, you might be dropping this heavy load here and choosing to move in a, in a new direction. And that's definitely on the career front for some of you. A few of you, it could be on the relationship front, but if it is on the relationship front, you know, something's missing, something's lacking within a relationship. Um, and maybe you've been dealing with it, putting up with, things being like this for a while Libra but it might be time for you to move on um, you know that's really what I'm getting here um, the five of pentacles has been showing up quite a bit here this week and I think it's because you know people are worried a little bit about their finances with it being Christmas time you know obviously Christmas we spend a lot of money so I think that you know for some of you you might be focused on maybe even, you know, landing a better job or picking up extra hours here um, because you want to maybe replenish those funds, you know, make up what, what you've spent. And so, you know, to be honest, I wouldn't stress about it. Don't overspend, um, but I wouldn't stress about it because, again, you know, I, I've been seeing this energy come up. I think a lot of people are dealing with it. It's in the back of their mind. Um, you know, worried about spending here. Um, with the moon here, you know, there could be a water sign person. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, there could be a Virgo, there could be a fire sign person that's significant. And, you know, there could be some Librans that you're waiting on maybe some news or something to come through from maybe this person. The moon is a tricky energy. Um, you know, it likes to kind of keep things in the dark, but, you know, things will surface um, and things will come to light, you know, when they're meant to. You know, this could be a little bit of like an emotional, confusing energy that some of you are dealing with, especially if like you're leaving something behind, leaving a job behind, you know, because we see you in that, in that driver's seat here. So, you know, some of you, as far as like what the future holds, it is a little bit of like a mystery. Things might feel, you know, uncertain and, and up in the air at this time, but you know, that's not, that's very normal when you're making big life changes. So some of you, I feel like this is a, this is a good thing. You know, you're, leaving a difficult time um, here and also maybe one that was really like a burden to you in some way uh, if it's a job you know maybe overworked and underpaid literally um, but let's pull you let's pull you an additional guidance card Libra what else does Libra need to know additional guidance for Libra Interesting. Don't let your, or excuse me, excuse me, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So interesting. Um, don't let pride get in your way. So we see you in the driver's seat. Hmm. So that's very interesting. Um, and so, you know, again, I feel like for some of you, you're looking at two different paths that you can move down. Um, so that's very interesting. Let's take a look at what's at the bottom of the deck here, Libra. Okay, it's time to take action, new moon and Aries. And so we have this fiery energy with these two cards and then this knight of rods here. Um, it's time to take action. Um, but for some of you, you know, if you're 
if you're being offered a job, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups, some of you could be offered something, but it's not exactly what you were hoping for. For some of you, maybe don't let your pride get in the way of that. You know, don't think you're better than, you know, something or um, something isn't good enough, uh, you know, for you because it, it could very well be a blessing. And, and with you accepting, it's allowing for you to move forward and it's allowing for you to um, leave this behind. And so don't think you're like too good for something. And obviously, um, this isn't for everybody, um, but you know, for those of you that are being offered something here, really, really needing to listen to your intuition when it comes to this. And then, you know, with it's time to take action here, I mean, that just resonates so much with what the tarot is saying here, Libra. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Take care.